Next up, we need an environment for doing our Python coding. We're going to use PyCharm, which is an uh, integrated development environment, IDE. So let's go to the jetbrains.com slash PyCharm website. And I will close this notice about uh, cookies. Go to download. And we're going to use the community edition of PyCharm, which is free and open source. Click on download. The download will start, and it, it'll take a little bit longer than Python. PyCharm's installer is now downloaded. I will double click to start the installation. And here we are in the PyCharm installer. I'll click next. I'll keep that path. And we will do a uh, association for .py, and we'll do a 32-bit launcher. Uh, you can do 64-bit if you're on a 64-bit system. And away it goes. After a little bit of time, our installation is finished. Let's go ahead and run PyCharm after we close the installer. And PyCharm is cranking up. When it first installs, it's going to ask if you want to import any settings. If you're a previous user of PyCharm, we don't need to do that. And we need to accept the privacy policy. And there we get the splash screen for PyCharm. It's loading up on the first launch. Uh, we'll get the welcome to PyCharm splash screen, but also something that asks about uh, our environment and customizing it to change the theme and the look and feel and stuff like that. We'll just accept the defaults. And here we are, uh, ready to create a new project in PyCharm.